a very nice matte everyday but like nighttime look if you want to be that girl watch my youtube videos if you are that girl watch my youtube videos if you don't want to be that girl you can still watch my youtube videos but then you might end up just becoming that girl period let's get the bill <laughs> I want to get into doing my makeup. I, I feel like I don't need to say too much. Let's just get into it. I already did skincare. My skincare routine is on my channel. And this look is for the girlies who want to sit for three hours and beat their faces. I'm not going to be here for three hours. I'll be, I'll be here like an hour and I'll be done. Um, as I'm cleaning this up with concealer, I also like to do like a little blending action with this flat brush put some concealer on my eyelid and I'll blend this out with my beauty blender. This is basically just me color correcting my eyelids. I want this like that to be, it to be bright. This is, so we're just having a good time. So they get ready with me for real, for real. So I basically take this, um, my face and body foundation and I use about this amount on my face. I use this Real Techniques face brush. And then I just blend this with the brush. Take your time with it, to be honest. Don't rush. I use this to blend my eyelids too, just because. Beep, 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 beep. Next thing is go back in with the nw45 concealer and i take a bit of that product and i'm just putting it right here you use a generous amount to be honest don't be stingy with this product don't worry it's going to blend out flawlessly because we have the technique technique so now i'm using the same brush you can wipe it off on something else, but use the same, you can use the same brush and then with the same brush, just do a nice tapping motion to blend the concealer out over the foundation. And the nice thing about this concealer is it literally feels like a foundation itself. So you don't necessarily need to use another foundation over this, but I've tried this um, routine. I think I filmed it. And I did this routine without the face and body foundation as well. I just don't think it looked the same. I think I've done different things. The process has been the same. The blending process has been the same. Just different mixes of products. Go on your forehead as well with whatever is left over on the brush. And I now take your beauty sponge and just blend that in very very gently you're just blending this in and you're taking off any excess product that might be on your skin just tap one thing is you don't want to rub or swipe just do these tapping motions to blend very finely very smoothly what is that i keep hearing sounds i'm scared um um, I'm using an NC44 for this. I tried the NC45, which would usually be my shade, but I felt like it was too dark. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. I, Cause I, I like it's slightly bright under eye. I don't, want, I don't want to look crazy, but like when it starts blending and mixing with everything else, it looks really nice. One reason why I like doing skin before eyeshadow is that like, I mean, if I even do eyeshadow, is that like, I get to really blend. It's so much easier to blend out my under eyes if I don't have any eyeshadow on before. I'm going to blend out to this area. And this is going to snatch my face a bit more. I know it doesn't really look like it, but I actually have a round face. <laughs> so 
my chin I only place it around here and see how like I'm using my brush to spread this out to give myself the placement I want and then I'm going to go in like you can blend with a brush you can blend with a beast I think I'll blend with a brush today because I want the coverage to stay as it is and then just blend like that oh, I'm going to connect these guys lovely I think blending out concealer is kind of where I want to stay quiet. Do you know another thing I like doing with concealer is just a little lift. Right there. And you can even like take this up and reverse contour with it too. then blend. Blend this downwards. Hey guys, this is editing Kiki. Just here to give my inputs on this eight months later to say that this concealer is honestly just a bit difficult to blend if you let it dry down for too long. It's insane how quiet it is right now. I, I don't even feel the need to contour because this reverse contouring is so extreme. <laughs> so I think I'll do a powder bronzer today instead of like a serious contour moment. Yeah, this isn't blending out right. That side just, that, that was a mess. Do you know, I'm just going in with my beauty blender instead because that was a mess, how you're supposed to blend this out though. I didn't do the other side right. But you're basically supposed to start with like blending this like cheek area first and then you blend this up like that and then you go into blending this side. Okay, I think I actually prefer blending my concealer out with a sponge for sure because I was trying to use that brush and it just wasn't working. And that's weird because I've used that brush to blend out my makeup in the past and it worked out fine. So maybe the brush just doesn't work with this concealer. Yeah, exactly what I said when I was blending, like at this point in time, like I would have literally just gone straight in with blending with my beauty sponge instead of using that brush. And I never use that brush to blend out my concealer anymore, to be honest. I just use it for powder. Ah, okay, I won't lie to you. As much as I like this product, it's low-key like a pain to blend right now. I feel like it's because my there's some something is probably wrong with my sponge. I don't know what this is, but this is just a pain. I don't know why this is blending out so weird. It looks good though. It's a pain to blend right now. Okay. I go back and forth between like the two different sides of my sponge I like how it's like has the shape that it has because depending on the side of my face that i'm blending i'll like use a different side of the sponge to go in and blend okay that looks really good that looks really good i'm happy with that and now i'm going to go straight into setting my under eyes with a setting powder and i'm also using a sample for this but it's the it's the new setting powder from mac i had gotten it's in the medium deep and then translucent. I accidentally ended up mixing them with each other. So that's what I'm using right now, but it works out fine. I feel like it doesn't, doesn't really look the best when it's mixed, to be honest. I like them individually. I don't, I still, I'm not in love with the translucent powder just because like it's very, it's, it comes off very white on my skin tone and I don't like that. The product itself is good and I like that it has different shades. I'm still trying to get the hang of just sitting still in my chair and not moving too much so I stay in frame. I love this like learning curve that I'm on so much and I love you guys for going on this journey with me. Please like, subscribe 
um, comments on this video. Tell me what you think so far. Whatever point that you're at, I actually want to know all your thoughts <laughs> like throughout the video. Like no matter where you are, don't be shy to leave a comment. Um, and let me know if you like try this routine, just send me pictures. This is something that I kind of feel like I do differently is like when I'm setting with powder I don't really bake and I really blend up setting powder into like everything that I have on and a step that I would typically do is I would use a different powder on top of the setting powder um, like a pressed powder but I'm not going to do that today um, the mix of these two powders looks very pink but I actually like it but yeah, like I always find myself really blending my setting powder into my makeup as opposed to just like leaving it there and then just dusting it off. And I'm also, I'm using the same sponge the whole time. I've tried the, um, what do you call it? The powder puff and I enjoyed it for a time. But once I came back to this Real technique sponge, I just haven't gone back to anything else. I'm going to use an NW50 Studio Fix Powder from MAC Cosmetics. Because it's actually different from everything I feel like I've been using in previous videos. And I'm going to use this as my bronzing shade for today. I didn't do a cream bronzer today, which I typically would have, but I just wasn't feeling it. I'm, I'm going off on the, the vibes, <laughs> to be honest right now, I'm going off on the vibes. Cause makeup does not have to be too complicated. I know like there's techniques and everything, but for right now, I'm just having fun. Okay, I'm using a second shade for my contouring process and it's this shade from my Juvia's, Juvia's Place, um, the Warrior Palette, same brush. Yeah, it looks so much better, it looks much more defined. I'm using the mineralized powder in dark deep just to do a nice blend of everything, make everything look nice and seamless. Oh, this is also where I'm like dusting off the setting powder, by the way, I just use whichever powder I use to set my full face as like my, I'm dusting off like all the excess um, setting powder from my face. Do you know what? I'm gonna wear a tiny bit of Love Joy. And what I'll do is I'm just, I'm literally just going to use the same brush that I use for my bronzer and I'm using this shade because it's very like sheer because I just want something but I don't want it to be overpowering yeah I like that a lot that looks pretty because it mixes with the bronzer and it just gives me a nice glow and this was really a skin focus video because your eyeshadow could be horrible but if your skin is good then you're good always put on mascara
I want a nice like bronzy highlight so I'm using this shade called Sunburst from an ABH palette. Some days things just don't work out the way that you plan. This was good though. I'm still, I'm still very pleased with this look. I'm going to line my lips and I'm getting out of here. I'm making a decision on whether I should just keep this look fully matte or if I should try adding in like a lip gloss. A lip gloss won't really change the fact that my skin looks matte though, so there's that. But there's also the aspect of like, do I just want to wear like lipstick and call it a day? Cause I have my sister's Bronx. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this, I'm gonna wear a bit of this. Uh, this is one of the prettiest nude shades I've tried in my life. I have a like natural birthmark beauty mark thing right there so I like to draw it back or at least just like wipe off the makeup on top of it because I like it when it shows it's me it's part of who I am and sometimes I like giving myself some faux ones too I'm going to give myself one right here today Okay, I'm rounding up, but there is a part of me that still wants to go in with using my studio fix in my under eyes as I do all the time. So I will. Yeah, just over all those areas where you start think harder. There is another part of me that wants to wear pink blush today. I'm going to wear Desert Rose. I feel like it comes off a bit purpley on my skin tone, like plum. It's very soft, almost like not noticeable whatsoever. But that's what I kind of want today is like a very like subtle flush of color on my cheeks as opposed to a full-on blushed out look and i'm going to just clean my brow up at the top a bit more Okay, I'm done. I'm going to spray some setting spray. The fix person is like that girl. It 
So I'm making it my mission to use a lot less setting spray than I used to before because this this finishes so fast like for and for no reason like and it's my fault because I spray like duh, 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 duh. Anyways, I'm making it my mission to use a lot less setting spray because my makeup already holds up really nicely as is and I don't know if that's because of the setting spray or not so maybe this is just that test also, I'm trying to branch out. <laughs> I'm trying to branch out product wise, so I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm trying to see which products can beat the products that I currently use. Can they beat this? Can the other products beat this? We'll find out. Come back again on another episode of Kigi's Tutorials. Okay, I still wanted a bit more setting spray, but that should be good enough for me. That's good enough for me today. Drying out the face. I just slapped myself on the face. We love to see it. I actually hate to see that, but we love to see it. That is it. That is all. That's it for me.